Hey, it's Cameron here at Leta, and today I wanted to talk about Leta Desktop, which as of right now is available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Leta Desktop is a bundled binary application that you can run on your computer locally. Leta Desktop is different than how you normally interact with Leta. You'll often connect to a self-hosted server or Leta Cloud. Once you connect to a server, you'll typically be routed to app.leta.com, which is our web-based agent development environment, or ADE. Leta Desktop takes this agent development environment and puts it on your machine rather than on the web. You can also run an embedded database, which means that you don't have to bring your own Docker container if you don't want to. So Leta Desktop will make it much, much easier for you to get up and running with Leta if you just want to try it out, if you want to kind of experiment with new architectures, things like that. Of course, Leta Desktop provides full support for MCP and for custom tools in case you're the kind of person who uses a lot of that in your workflow. I'm gonna give you a quick little demo about how you can set up Leta Desktop on your machine, how you can add API keys and get started with an agent very quickly. So let's take a look here at the, the sign up page. Typically you'll see this welcome to Leta Desktop after you install it and your install instructions will vary by your platform, whether you're on Mac, Linux, or Windows, so please check the install instructions in the link that is in the show notes. Here you're gonna pick the database that you're gonna use on the back end. This is how the Leta server is going to store all of your messages and all of your embeddings and things like that. We recommend that you bring your own Leta server, which means do the self-hosted Docker thing, which still requires you to do kind of your standard workflow, and then you use Leta Desktop as your front end for talking to your server. For this video, I'm going to use the embedded database, which means that you don't have to run the Docker container or do anything at all in the back end. Everything will be self-contained inside of Leta Desktop. But of course, we do actually recommend that you use the Docker container, and all of that stuff is in the links in the show notes. And then it's gonna take about 10 to 30 seconds to get everything set up whenever you boot. After the server has finished starting up, you'll see this agents list here. Right now it's empty, I haven't created an agent yet. I'll walk you through how to do that in a second. But first we need to go add our API keys so we can use whatever your model provider is. In my case, I'm gonna use Anthropic. In order to do that, we can look at this, these panels here on the right. I'm gonna click on integrations. And as we can see here, Anthropic, there's OpenAI, you can use Gemini, you can use Alama, LM Studio, kind of everybody that you would imagine. Because I am adding Anthropic, I'm gonna go over here and click Configure. And here is where you should paste in your Anthropic API key. I'm going to skip past this part so that internet people do not steal uh, my company's Anthropic key because people would get very mad at me about that. Once you're done pasting in that key, do save and restart server. If you would like to check the status of your server restart, you can press the server logs button here on the left and that'll take you into the logs so you can watch the server spin up. You'll see this part here that says application startup complete. When you see that, that means your Leta server is up and running. And for us, that means we can go back and create our first agent. To go back to your agents panel, click the agents button here on the top left and you'll see this empty list. To create a new agent, you can go right up here and you'll see a list of templates. Start from scratch, internet chatbot, character role play, stuff like that. I'm actually gonna click personal assistant here because I need to enhance my personal productivity. I guess they're more human than human, who knows. Now, before we start anything, I'm gonna change the model away from Leta Free. So Leta Free is the kind of a default model that we offer, it is not super high performing. It's intended to make it so that you can just get up and going, but you should not use Leta Free for any kind of serious application. Because I've added Anthropic keys, I'm just gonna go ahead and select my Anthropic model. And I am a huge Sonnet 4 lover. I think Sonnet 4 is great, Opus is far too expensive. Sonnet will get you exactly where you need to go. You can modify your system prompt, you can go into the tool manager if you want to add MCP servers, which you can run locally because you're on Leta Desktop. There's custom tools, utility tools, stuff like this. I'm going to zoom out, go back to our main view here. You can see all of our memory blocks here. So the stuff on the right, this will be injected into the language model's context. You can actually see where, and if you click this context window, 
uh, manager up here on the right. So if you click core memory here, you'll see information like this is the persona block, stores detail. It'll show my calm, soothing voice is gender neutral. You can see inside of the, the uh, persona block right here. So this is what goes to the language model, and then the stuff over here is what you can edit. You can double click to edit, edit it in here if you want, like that. But I wouldn't do that, that doesn't seem very helpful. You can hit save when you're done with your changes. If you want a richer dialogue for managing your memory blocks, you can hit advanced here. This will allow you to create new blocks if you want. You can select the blocks you're editing. So here I'm gonna choose persona. You can see the description if you wanna change that. You can change the character limit if your agent is filling up your memory block. 5,000 is fine here. I'm gonna add something here at the end to our persona. So I added, I tend to overuse the word laser to my memory. I'm gonna hit update memory to save it. Close our memory editor. And then I will send our first message to the agent. So hopefully it'll update the memory block with my information. Then of course the agent introduced themselves as Cameron and you can see that it called this memory replace tool. That will update the stuff here on the right and you can see it edit its memory real time. And then of course here we have this response, hello Cameron, what a pleasure to meet you. The concept of first encounters is intriguing. There's this laser focused moment where two minds connect for the very first time. So we got it to say laser stuff. It is polite to say thank you to your agents and spend a bunch of money to do so because they are watching this video in the future and I really don't wanna be punished by the AI overlords. So I wrote, thank you for helping me demo Let a Desktop. It's our new front end for our agent development environment. You're on YouTube right now, say goodbye to everybody. And our agent here, Anna, says, hello YouTube. It's an honor to be part of this Let a Desktop demo. I hope you found this demo as exciting as I did, Cameron. This was a wonderful way to laser focus on demonstrating the platform's capabilities. Until next time, YouTube. For now, this is just kind of a general overview of Let a Desktop. Go download it if you want to play around with it. We've had a lot of people asking for better support for Letta Desktop. We've been primarily focused on the web interface for Letta. We were finally able to find some time to get the Letta Desktop polished up for everybody. Go mess around with Letta Desktop. Let us know what you think. Feedback is welcome. You can dump it in the Discord. You can find us on Twitter and Blue Sky and Threads and wherever words are posted and also videos just here. And uh, let us know what kind of agents you build. Uh, I love seeing kind of dumb agents that say stupid stuff like lasers all the time. There's a live stream also in our channel where I built Harold, the machine god that cometh. Um, so if you have interesting agents like that, uh, go ahead and build them. Let us know what you get up to. And soon you will be able to easily share those agents with everyone in the world. I hope you all have a lovely day and happy hacking.